showers, no toilets, no. Yeah. <laughs> or just the cold. Well, I was going to say, I can count. I like penguins. Post office sounds fun. Cold. It's that's cold. where it got me. Cold. That's where it got me. If I have to bundle up, that's not for me. And I tell you what, I'm bringing a little bit of winter back this weekend, but it's only brief. And might I say that I think this might be our last cold snap until the uh, until really uh, the the cold air arrives at the end of the year. So good news for all of those gardeners out there. I think it's safe to plant after this weekend. All right, blue sky right now in Gadsden. 66 is our current temperature, but it is breezy out there. Winds out of the west at around 21 miles per hour. 66 from Gadsden to 68 in Talladega, lower to mid 60s. Hamilton into Fayette right now. But look at these wind gusts that I'm monitoring. Anywhere from 15 to 25 mile per hour wind gusts. So just hold on to the caps if you're outside this afternoon. It's going to be a windy one out there. Look at the temperatures. We'll stay in the 60s through your 6 o'clock hour, 8 p.m. at 55, lower 50s by 10 o'clock, and then after midnight, those temperatures will be dropping into the 40s. We will see a mostly clear sky overnight tonight. No signs of wet weather. And for tomorrow morning, we're waking up to some colder air. 39 in Coleman, 41 in Jasper. Notice our average lows this time of year sit around 50 degrees, so nearly 8 to 10 degrees below. Average. If you think that's cool, wait till tomorrow afternoon when some spots will be nearly 20 degrees below average. Highs for your Friday, barely cracking 60. We'll get there in Alabaster, Tuscaloosa, Mountville, so some of our southernmost cities, but a slew of us will see 50s. Hard pressed to climb out of the 50s by tomorrow afternoon. We will see a good amount of sunshine for your Friday, but a few clouds building in late day. A little front moves in, not going to bring us any rain, but it will. Bring us a bit of cloud cover. So, if you are planning on going to the Barons' home opener this Friday as they take on the Trash Pandas from North Alabama, temperatures will be in the mid 50s at 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock temperatures at 50. And then by that seventh inning stretch, we're kind of rounding the 50 degree mark, dropping into the 40s by the time the game rounds out. Friday afternoon into Saturday morning, though, look what happens. The numbers will be dropping into the lower 40s and many spots waking up to mid and upper 30s. So, a light frost for your Saturday morning. Let's talk rainfall for next week. You didn't need me to tell you, did you? Tuesday and Wednesday, right? But this time we're going to stretch it into Thursday as well because as if two days isn't good enough for rain. Wednesday morning, some light rain to our northwest. A little boundary moves through. I think Wednesday is just going to be rain, non severe. But what we see on Thursday could be a little bit more interesting, something that we're going to be watching for. This will be an overnight Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. We could see showers and storms from uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, all the way up into Birmingham. And that should scoot out pretty quickly. I think by Thursday afternoon, we'll see a clearing sky. So, for the remainder of tonight, 40s, 50 and breezy tomorrow. A bit of a warm up, though, towards the end of the weekend. And showers are back middle of next week. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast. All right, Ashley, we 